Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about Terraform resources. So resources are basically the entities which you create in your like say I mean since we are going to use AWS so any entity which we create in AWS is basically termed as a resource in Terraform. So that is what we are going to discuss. So we are going to create our first resource that will be an EC2 instance using Terraform. So we'll be referring to this uh, documentation page which I showed you in the last video because there are so many things in Terraform so many parameters so many attributes that it's not possible for you to remember everything right so referring to documentation is probably the best path you should take so that is what we are going to do we are going to refer to documentation so in the providers let's go down below and since we are going to work with AWS let's click AWS so these are all the resources which are available to you under the AWS provider. So you can see on the left hand side, there's so many of them. I think Terraform almost covers all the services of AWS, right? So what we are going to launch is an EC2 instance. So we'll look for EC2 and you can see all these options which are there when you select EC2 resource, right? So since we are going to launch an EC2 instance, let's look for ec2 instance so aws underscore instance so this is what we are looking for so this is what we are going to create right so you can create an eip you can create a launch configuration launch template key pair i mean there's just too much yeah so let's look at what we have under aws instance so you can see we have done or they have done a provider definition at the top of their file then there's something related to data so we'll talk about this data what it is uh, in the later videos you can skip that and if you come down below here is your resource definition so what they've done is they've defined they've used a keyword resource then aws instance so the type of resource what we what we want to launch the name of that resource it can be anything for you and then two required parameters to launch this instance are ami and the instance type so these two are the required parameters and then you can give any tags to your instance but i mean when you launch an instance there are so many things which you need right so you need security groups you need the key pair name you probably need to define in which vpc you would want to launch because if you don't specify the vpc aws will launch it in the default vpc right so we'll see all that in the upcoming videos in this video we are just going to launch a simple ec2 instance uh, in our AWS uh, account so let me just go to my text editor so this is my EC2 instance uh, sorry not EC2 instance this is my local virtual machine which on which I have configured Terraform so just to confirm Terraform so you can see Terraform is configured so I'll go to my text editor so I would also recommend you to use any text editor so I am using Visual Studio Code, you can use Atom or Sublime Text or anything which actually has a plugin for Terraform. So the plugin, what it actually does, it it pre-populates some code and it has some suggestions also what what would come into uh, where, right? So I mean, if you know what I what I mean, so what plugin does is basically uh, it it actually I mean let's so it's actually difficult to I mean we're getting lost words here, so. So here I have written a very basic resource which was there in the example. So you can see I am I am declaring a resource AWS instance. The name of my instance is my EC2. Then I have given an instance type. So free tier account only allows T2 micro. So I'm uh, aligning assigning it T2 micro and the AMI. So AMI right now I'm fetching it from my AWS account. So if I go to instances let's go to launch instance so i've selected the amazon linux ami so i've grabbed this id and if you see this is the same id as this one right so i'm using the amazon linux uh, id uh, so ami id and that's it uh, so we can also define some tags so let's do that so you can see it gives you suggestions right having plugin is actually helpful because it suggests you that you are not making any syntax errors right so let's give it a name 
and I'll call it my instance. Let's save this code. I'll copy this code and go to. So I have a file over here called main.tf. I'll get rid of whatever is inside this and I'll paste this code which I've. So I'm writing my code on my local Mac machine and then I'm using this on my uh, basically virtual machine which is hosted on AWS. So I've configured my Terraform on a virtual machine which is there in AWS so I cannot use any text editor over here. I have to use Vim which is probably not very user friendly, right? Alright, so this being done, let's save this file. So we are not defining providers definition like you saw like they have done here. Uh, so at the top of the main file they have also basically defined provider but we haven't done it because if I do an ls lrt we had created a providers.tf file in our last video and we have declared a provider over there right. So Terraform is smart enough to basically pick up the provider from this file. Alright so once we are done creating our Terraform template for an EC2 instance next thing what I'm going to do is Terraform plan. So this command basically generates a plan so you can see I have a syntax error on the tags. Alright so let's see what's that. Let's go to okay let me just check the documentation and tags okay so I missed an equal to sign over here So tags are basically key pair uh, combination so it's a hash basically. So let's save now. Let me clear the screen and let's do terraform plan again. So you can see it showed you what it is going to do. So 1 to add, 0 to change and 0 to destroy and all these things would be created when we are going to create our EC2 instance. So you can see it already knows about the AMI so it has populated that but all the other things would become when we'll do an apply right. So let's do that. So let's do terraform apply. So it will ask you to confirm let's say yes. And you can see it has started creating and it has failed. Okay, so what's the error? So it has given me the status code of 400. So probably the AMI ID which I have selected is not supported. All right, no problem. So what we can do is we can go back to our AWS console and let's try this AMI ID. Amazon Linux 2. Let's go back here, go to main.tf. Okay, sorry, this is the ID. I want the Amazon Linux ID. So I want this AMI ID. Not the Amazon Linux 2, probably not supported. Maybe some reason we can look into later. But for now, for this demo, let's quickly update this. The Amazon Linux ID plan we have already done so we'll not do the plan again and we'll directly do the apply so plan is actually optional you I mean it's up to you whether you want to do the plan because if you see if you do apply it it is actually creating a plan right so you don't need to do plan let's say yes and hopefully this time it should work So it hasn't failed yet so probably it is working so you can see it has started creating the instance so let's go to our AWS console go to EC2 go to running instances 
and you can see my instance so this is the name which we gave it and it is in running state it has started initializing and everything which we didn't provide terraform has automatically populated like the public ip address host name the vpc so it is launched in the default vpc since we didn't specify the vpc in the future videos we are going to do an end to end uh, infrastructure so we'll create a vpc we'll create private subnet uh, public subnets we'll launch an ec2 instance in a private subnet we'll create a load balancer in the public subnet and we'll create an s3 bucket so that will be a complete project sort of a thing which we'll do in the future videos right all right so let's go back to and you can see it has finished creating our instance and our instance is running let's refresh so it's still initializing but terraform has completed all right so this is how you basically create your resources in your cloud whatever cloud you're using aws gcp anything of that sort you would i would recommend you to use an ide because it's very easy to get lost when you're working with terraform there's so many things you probably get lost right now since after we've launched the instance uh, you don't leave it running right you don't want to leave it running because that will incur cost so and it actually becomes difficult when you have launched several resources using terraform so probably i mean here i have just launched an ec2 instance so it's easy for me to go and terminate it but suppose you've launched a bunch of uh, s3 buckets and couple of ec2 instances or maybe more and then rds instances security groups subnets and things like that so it's easy i mean it's not easy to terminate them manually so terraform basically gives you a util utility to destroy everything that you have created using terraform and that is simply terraform destroy so if i do terraform destroy so it will prompt me for confirmation whether i want to destroy will take a minute so let's be patient and yes so I'll say yes I want to destroy this and it has started destroying so if I go back there and refresh it you can see the instance has gone into shutting down right all right so yeah this is it for this video guys this is what I wanted to show you your first resource in terraform if you have successfully launched congratulations uh, kudos to you and in the next video or probably in upcoming videos we'll go a little more deeper than this since this was very basic launching your resource and probably just a simple ec2 instance we'll go into a lot of details we'll launch a complex infrastructure from end to end so please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching